Hello everyone. My name is Martha and I'm a fourth year student in painting and printmaking at GSA. I'm going to show you some places that I really like to go in Glasgow, but before I do that I'll tell you a bit about me and show you some of my work. Right now, like so many others, I've been spending a lot of time indoors working from home. I've set up a studio in my living room where I've covered the walls in quotes from books, recent drawings, artist work that inspires me and photos from exhibitions. I love working this way with a constant visual feed of images and I've also drawn a big mind map with ideas for my dissertation that I'm currently writing. Most of my workday is spent on my laptop reading and writing so I made myself a standing desk using shoeboxes. I've also been doing some drawings in my bedroom. I work on these in the evenings whenever I have spare time which isn't very often to be honest. I fell back in love with coloured pencils and I use them as my main medium these days to do continuous repetitive drawings. Now I'll show you some of my favourite places in Glasgow. Most of the places in this video are around the west end of the city which is where I grew up and it's also really close to the GSA campus. Something I've been doing as much as I can, pretty much every day, is going for a walk in the park. There are over 90 parks in Glasgow and it's well known for its green spaces. It's often called Deer Green Place. Kelm Grove Park is my local. It's pretty big and has loads of different trees and flowers, statues, a cafe, even a skate park and a pond. I found that for my mental and physical health, it's so important to get out of my house, stretch my legs and breathe in fresh air. It's really lovely to be somewhere quiet, but equally to be around some people. I always carry my phone with me in case I see something interesting that I want to photograph. And even though I've lived here my whole life and I've been here hundreds of times, I can always see something new that catches my eye. A lot of people use this park for exercise and to walk their dogs, so it's also really great for people watching and dog watching. Glasgow is a city that's so full of character. There's plenty to see and do, no matter who you are or what you're interested in. Parks are a really brilliant place to meet friends and have a cup of tea and a catch-up. You can also play tennis and grass bowls outside. Beside the park is Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum. This is a huge building filled with paintings, ancient objects and sculptures from many time periods. It's free to enter for the public and it's a really great place to just go and get lost in for hours. Anyone that knows me knows that one of my all-time favourite things to do is to go shopping. I've got a big colourful rail of clothes from lots of different places and most of it is second hand which I'm really happy about. I'm going to show you some of my favourite outfits that I've got, the vast majority of which are from local charity shops and vintage shops. To be honest, this entire segment was just an excuse for me to prance around my living room when I was home alone. So enjoy and thank you for coming to my fashion show.
Retro is right around the corner from there and has really great vintage dresses, hats and fancy clothes for going in nights out. I love buying second hand because it's so easy to create a unique style with a really small budget. It's also so much healthier for the planet to repurchase and reuse pre-loved clothing. And in charity shops you can contribute to the cause and get a fabulous outfit. Somewhere that I absolutely love and that makes me smile every time I walk past it is Jimmy Egypt and Sons. This shop has so much charm and is chock a block with musical instruments. It's an amazing place to browse, it's literally floor to ceiling. The place is brimming with electric and acoustic guitars and other equipment. The staff are so friendly and helpful and the owner Jimmy even studied at GSA. Mandors is really close to the GSA campus situated just down the hill from the Reed Building on Renfrew Street. It has an incredible range of fabric, buttons, ribbon, canvas and so much more. So students from all departments can shop there. We also get a discount. Back in the West End, down a small cobbled lane, there's a few fantastic wee shops. Voltaire and Rousseau is a well-loved second-hand bookshop that's a creative person's dream. The entire shop is made up of books, even the till area at the front where the owner sits is a table of books. The prices here are phenomenally cheap and there are so many quality, unusual books of all genres. There's also a lovely cat that hangs around outside. Roots and Fruits has been in Glasgow for years and just recently had a renovation. There's now three different areas, selling coffee, cakes and lunches, fresh fruit and veg and plants. There's a massive variety of things including some fresh produce that you won't find in the supermarket. A lot of their items are organic and really reasonable. I don't go out to eat a lot so I love buying nice ingredients to cook at home. The plant shop is also really good for presents and for making your own room really beautiful and homely. Glasgow Film Theatre, or GFT, is a beautiful independent cinema that's across the street from Mandors. They show up-to-date films from film festivals, critically acclaimed classics, and they are home to a couple of film festivals of their own. Students in under 25s get a special discount here, so all standard showings are just £5.50 with a discount card. I've had some really magical moments in this cinema and I think it has an especially comforting, really cosy atmosphere. Pisano Pizza has two restaurants in Glasgow and it's such a reliable place to go and get a fresh, delicious dinner. 
They specialise in classic Neapolitan pizzas which are super filling and come with loads of toppings. This little blue police box is home to Falafel To Go, which is a wee business with one very popular item on their menu, a large falafel wrap for £3. I've lost count of the number of these that I've eaten and I never get tired of them, they're that good. They also have their original branch which is a hole in the wall, just off of Sucky Hall Street which is five minutes from the GSA campus. There's so many great places to hang out and try new things in Glasgow. I really feel like it caters to people from all walks of life and it makes me so happy that it's known as one of the friendliest cities in the world. It's so diverse and multicultural, so people that are new to the city can quickly feel at home and take in the atmosphere. I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of my favourite places, and I really hope I'll see you around sometime. Bye!